Hey, what's up, guys? Mike Patrick, and this is the video that you guys all been waiting for, okay? Now, I guess I'll start this one by saying, those foreigners don't like us. Those Americans don't like us. All right? And trust me, I'm saying it a, 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 a real nice way, you know what I mean, and things like that. And I'm not saying it the way that a lot of you guys might say it or, or with the aggression and the anger and the frustration that some of you guys may feel when you say it, okay, um, or when you think it, right? Now, guys, look, that is the, the, the thinking that Satan wants you to have, okay? That's why that it will always be Satan or a, a way that you know that you are dealing with, I don't want to call somebody, you know what I mean? Um, at this point, I don't want to call nobody a person of Satan or anything like that. But we all are vessels, okay? You could be used for the most high or you could be used for Satan, okay? And there's many different things that determine who your vessel is going to end up being used for, okay? Um, many different things that I'm not going to get into. But this is the thing, guys. Um, people want you to believe that in order to keep you divided, right? Because if you tell everybody that, oh, everybody that, that's coming from over there or, or coming from here or coming from there is, um, they don't like us and they racist. You know what I mean? They don't even like us. They don't even like, uh, uh, black people or they don't like white people or they don't like yellow people or they don't like, um, red people, right? Well, those people are the main people that is trying to what? Keep you divided. They always want you to think that somebody's your enemy. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to not come together. That's the devices of the devil. Okay. One thing that keeps things stagnant is certain people not realizing that and certain people using their influence to keep people divided. Okay. That's, that's what Satan wants. That's how Satan stays on top for a little bit longer. And you know what I mean? Things like that. Okay. Keeping people divided. All right. Now, um, with that said, people can always find on, and, and no matter what your argument is, I'm, yeah, no matter what your argument is for the sake of this video, people can always find examples. You know what I'm saying? If they want to, of, of what they're trying to push, right? So if you trying to keep people divided, then you're going to go out and, and you're going to show somebody how, um, you know, look, this how these people think. Or you're going you're gonna to show an example of somebody saying something racist, right, or negative or what, whatever, or acting negative or saying something negative, whether it has to do with directing it towards another race or anything. You're just going to try to show examples of of something that is displeasing to people so you can turn people off from those people, right? Um, it's not rocket science. It's one of the oldest tricks in the book. You know what I'm saying? Um, as for example, a lot of you, a lot of you guys that may come from other countries that are over here now, or you may be in other countries, but you know what I mean? Um, now with the internet and we can all kind of mingle whether you're right in front of a person or whether you a thousand miles away, right? Um, with, that's why for a long time, a lot of white supremacists that funded a lot of projects, you know what I mean? Now, this is just one angle of it. Everything, don't forget, everything works in the favor of the most high. You know what I'm saying? Even It's even things Satan can't see or don't, you know what I mean, can't come back or didn't know that it would work out like that because he just didn't, he just can't see the, the, the big picture. Okay? So, everything works in the favor of the most high, you know what I mean? But, Let's just say for the sake of this video, okay, how a lot of people, how a lot of people think, all only examples that you saw of African Americans, if you was in another country or things like that, even if you was in this country, but you didn't necessarily grow up around a lot of African Americans, right? All they wanted to show us, our representation being at, is what, gangsters, you know what I mean? And, and thugs and things like that, whether it was rap music and the uh, avid, think about it. In like the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, it was all love. You know what I'm saying? Everything was about love and, you know what I mean, being together. Peace. And then when they, when certain people saw that, they wanted to start all of a sudden, here comes 
the um gangster rap music. Now, like I said, everything works in the favor of the Most High. So I'm not going to get into how that ended up working in the favor of the Most High. But at the same time, let's just look. They said they, uh, you know, we had loving music and things like that. All of a sudden, here come what? Was it the late uh, 80s, early 90s? Here come gangster rap music. You know what I mean? Advocating the degrading of our women, advocating black on black crime, and, and just complete what you would consider just a side of yourself that, you know what I mean, that you don't necessarily want to be the main representation of yourself. But that's all they show. That's all we could do. If you won't be in no gangster rap rapper, you couldn't be a rapper for the most part. If you won't be in a... Um, if, if you if you didn't play a gangster role in a movie or if you weren't in some vulnerable position, whether you died first in the movie, all you know, all this different type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? Or just some lowly position in the movie, you ain't get you ain't get a role. For the most part. We know there's exceptions and stuff. Okay? Um the, the most high had to make exceptions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, um but trust me, if Satan could, you wouldn't have never seen yourself in in, in a um in a certain type of light. If he if he had, you know what I mean, control, uh, complete power. Um and and so that's the thing. So that's all we saw, or that's all you saw. So you start stereotyping, and you start saying to yourself, "Oh, that's how all those black people, African Americans, are." Now, with that said, if you do come across people that's from foreign countries and things like that, and they happen to 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 um give you attitudes, or it might come off like they might think they better than you, and things like that, and 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 and, and all defense to them. Think about the um, examples they had of you. You know what I'm saying? That that's the way they was programmed to to think to to to, to think of you. You know what I'm saying? So they was, you know, what I mean, because guess what? If I see somebody, all I see of all I see representation of them being is degenerate. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm a, when I come in across them, if I don't know any of them personally, I'm gonna just think I'm gonna treat them have a way my my air my aura the way i treat them is going to be in a way where like you are low life you're a scum you know what i'm saying that's what you that's what that's what you've been taught to think because you don't really know these people you know what i'm saying and so but the advent of internet people get to see certain people that look a certain type of way and they thought it was a certain type of way but now they can see different examples you see what i'm saying prime example with that i just put up on my uh on my Facebook page, I put up many examples of how you have dark skin, Negroid, you know what I'm saying, people in all different countries, Hispanic countries and things like that. But at the same time, and even in a couple of the videos, it says like they don't that they don't want you to see that they don't want you to see or that you rarely see or hear about. But bro, they try to hide certain people, certain Negroid people. They literally all throughout the we're everywhere. You see what I'm saying? But all throughout the world, for a long time, they tried to hide these people. You wouldn't even know that they existed. All they wanted to show you was a certain segment of that population. So in China, China had uh, had guys, Negroid, Ch Chinese people, you consider Negroid Chinese people. They, you, you're not going to see those people. For a long time, you won't see those people on TV. You know what I mean? We just get the internet relatively soon within the past 20, 25 years. You see what I'm saying? They won't gonna show you these people on TV. They won't gonna talk about them, just like how they do over here. And then even over here, if you was in a whole nother country, if you did see a Negro, you only seen a certain type of Negro. You see what I'm saying? So you can't. You see what I'm saying? And then in all in all these different places, they have caste systems. Caste systems, just like in India, where they treat um for a long time. I don't know what they're doing over there now, but they treated the darker Indians a, a certain type of way. You know what I mean? Then exalted. The um the lighter Indians a certain type of way, and so not just in India, but just like you think of that caste system, it's just like that all over the world, or it was just like that all over the world. It's changing now. We're in the very beginning of change. You know what I'm saying? Where well, it's changing now, things have, have started to come out now with th videos like this or pro uh, propaganda like this or you know what I mean information now with the internet and stuff and people. If you know what to look for and things like that, so um. So yeah, guys. So the point is, uh, I exactly where I was at right there, but because it, there's so many points on this topic, so I'm gonna I'm just keep going. If I come back to it, I'll come back to it. You know what I'm saying? But um, the thing is, oh yeah, I was saying about caste systems and, and things like that. So in all these different um, 
North American, South American countries, you have dark-skinned people. You see what I'm saying? That's in these places, okay? You have fair-skinned people that's in these places. But a lot of these places, their governments and things like that, they set up caste systems where they don't want you to see certain people. You see what I'm saying? Or to, to see certain people in a certain light. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know what I mean? Things like that. Another reason why a lot of you guys that's in America, that's African-American, think that a lot of um, foreigners who may look close to you think they better than you or still or maybe you would you would even though they really the same a lot of them are the same race as you they just was they just uh in the in the transatlantic slave trade for those people who were who worked who did come from africa you know what i mean people weren't just bought to the united states they we were bought all different places you might literally have a cousin or something who if they was bought from Africa, if you was actually bought from Africa, you see what I'm saying? They might have sent your your cousin to um to Brazil. You know what I mean? With the conquistadors. And so they speak Spanish over there. But you came to um but you came over here to Virginia. I mean to uh, you know, yeah, but well the first Virginia. You see what I'm saying? But the United States. You see what I'm saying? And so and so on and so on. And then when you start mixing and stuff, that's how you get the different cast uh cast systems and colors. You see what I'm saying? They set that up a long time ago when they had just like no different than over here in America. When the slave master had sex with a slave or something and had a child, he still considered that child black. You know what I'm saying? But and you weren't gonna get treated like a a um a a um a, a full breaded uh what they thought was a full breaded white person at the time. You see what I'm saying? But you got treated better than a what what they thought was a full blown Negro at the time. You see what I'm saying? So it's cast it's cast systems, and they 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 set that up purposely. You see what I'm saying? So it's the same way over there. The reason why you have uh, lighter Hispanics and then some are darker, some are just closer to their their um their indigenous roots genetically than others you know what i'm saying some uh, others might be lighter from the mixing you know what i'm saying from the mixing of the europeans and wherever they set uh, wherever they came and colonized and settled it's just that simple it's not rocket science you know what i'm saying and so um and and so and with that said it that just because somebody's lighter now this is not a a, a time where we're going to try to reverse everything that, that was done to you know what i mean to so you like now oh you look down upon because you lighter so you know oh you you more so got uh you know what I mean? The colonizer blood in you because you lighter. No, we all so mixed in and you don't know who the most high gonna gonna choose to do what to do whatever. You see what I'm saying? So you just gotta accept the the you just gotta accept people, period. You gotta judge people off the content of their character and their spirit. And if they got the whole at this point, you either you got the the uh, the Holy Spirit or not, you covered in the blood of Christ or you're not. You see what I'm saying? It ain't got nothing to do with your color like you think it do. Or like people will try, like Satan wants you to think it's about, you know what I'm saying? Think it's about color. It's about race, but it ain't about color. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and so, uh, I, I, I might have said everything I needed to say, but I'm, I'm gonna try like just in case. Uh, so, cause I think I'm, I think I'm making, I think I made my point. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole, the whole idea is coming together. And so, oh, that's what I wanted to say. Great. The, the, that's what's going to really drive this home. So the point is this, okay? Whether somebody, it's not about trying to uh, find somebody that's perfect. Oh, let me find people. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, I only want to deal with, or oh, I only accept, or oh, I only care about, um, you know, people who already seem to be nice of different races. So let's I'm a, I'm going to keep it 100. You got black people that would say, "Oh no, those are those are the the nice Mexicans." Or I met a nice Mexican, but then I, so at least people starting to come around to the fact that it's an individually based thing. You might meet some Mexicans that's mean as, as a rattlesnake. You know what I'm saying? That could just be a person a person that's mean as a rattlesnake and they they like that with their own people too. But yeah, it might not help that you another race. You see what I'm saying? Um, you got black people that's mean as a rattlesnake. You know what I'm saying? And um, and not only do they not like other races, but they don't even like their own people. You know what I mean? Or or even themselves, for that matter. You see what I'm saying? And so on and so on. White, red, yellow, so on and so on. You get it? So it ha so that so there you go. Um, and so the the idea is you don't know what calling the Most High has to somebody's life. And how he's transitioning people and bringing them along. It could be somebody at a certain point. Because I was that way. I was that way. I was. I, I ain't know no better. 
You see what I'm saying? I didn't know any better. As, uh, I, that's how I was taught. And that's all like, you know what I mean? So I look down on other races and things like that in different ways. I look down on every race there is for different reasons at, at some point in my life. You know what I'm saying? And so, so, so there you go. Or every color of people, you know what I'm saying? That there is at, at, um, at a certain point in my life because I was just completely ignorant. And all I knew was what I was taught or what I was showed, you know what I mean? And things like that. And so that's all I knew. So it would be real easy for somebody to say, well, I don't really deal with black people or I went, I don't, I don't deal with Mike because at some, at some point he said something racist or did something racist. It's like people that if the most highly, if you still here, then every day you wake up, you got a chance to, to enlighten yourself a little bit, a little bit more. The people who don't want to change, who don't want to accept that is the people who already said, and you got to think too, it's a lot of people, it's people that that's into stuff. And it's took certain oaths or just giving their heart to certain things that they ain't necessarily going to tell you. So that's why I also it's not about trying to convince nobody, especially at this point. At this point, the line is drawn. You see what I'm saying? At this point, the line is drawn. Satan is prophesied that Satan going to try to, he going to try to, he ain't going to, he ain't making, the most high is making war with Satan. But at the same time, he ain't going to completely back down. You see what I'm saying? Some people going to pull out and be like, right, I'm good. I'm good on that. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But some people going to try to fight. They going to they gonna try to fight. You see what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? All that's prophesied and all that has to happen. He's He programmed people like that. He's He programmed people like that because you got to play your role. So it's some people who's programmed that it's nothing you're going to be able to say or do that's going to turn them around or convince them. You see what I'm saying? So... So, so that's that. But what you, what you should be trying to do is giving everybody a chance. These same people, if all, if that's all they saw, you see what I'm saying, is a certain depiction of you, and they, and they acted a certain way and stuff like that. Well, now, now that they got more information, you got to give them time and a chance, and and you got to try to be representation otherwise. You know what I'm saying? It's not trying to cater to nobody or make somebody think you something that you're not, but you got to show them that. Um, there's different, there's different aspects of you than just the, the negative things that, that people want you to be portrayed as. You see what I'm saying? And things like that. And other people got to do the same thing. Cause like I said, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of black people who think all Hispanic people are racist. You see what I'm saying? So it's Hispanics that now got to, got to wear that and got to be, you know what I mean? An example of love and acceptance and things like that to show that all that we love too. All of us ain't like that. You see what I'm saying? Because a lot of people that came over here, right? A lot of those people were racist and turned their nose up at you because, like I said, you have caste systems. A lot of those people at first that was coming over, guys, were people with money and stuff. These weren't poor people from these countries. You see what I'm saying? Who just coming over here, humble, good, loving people. A lot of these people were descendants of conquistadors and stuff, and they come from families with money and stuff. They so they come over here, they 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 taught to look down on you too, and they gonna look down on you for that reason too. You see what I'm saying? These won't humble people like a lot of the people that's coming over here now. That's loving and humble and preaching. These were people that had money. When you see a, in in the past, guys, when you see a lot of the, uh, people from foreign countries coming over, these were not poor people. You be, I know you be thinking that like, oh, there's some poor immigrants from such and such. Not all of them, not most of them. I ain't saying some of them won't, you know what I'm saying? But some, but a lot of them are people who who's doing very well in their countries. You see what I'm saying? And that's and you know, and that's how they got over here and things like that. So you got to give people. So the point is, guys, wrap this all up and bring it home, okay? There's people changing now who might have been a certain way, who might have thought a certain way, might have had certain ideas about other people and stuff like that. But as they become more enlightened and get more information, truth comes out, the the the, the stars align, all these types of things. Then there these people is some people that's destined to change and to, and to make it through. And there's some people who's not. You see what I'm saying? Um, and then there's some people who just born good, who just already was born like that. A lot of the younger, a lot of the younger kids are like that because they're growing up in a in a more multicultural cultural um setting, you know what I mean? Where they not holding on or they don't have like they got to be taught the beliefs. But now that they got examples and, and now that things are changing, with they coming up with the, with the internet and stuff where everything is a melting pot, they can see different cultures and stuff like that, and they know better. And then some of them are just wired that way anyway. So a lot of these kids are just being born different anyway. They're not the same. Um, they're not the same 
species uh, as people that was being born 100 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Or 150 years ago. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of them just wired different anyway. You see what I mean? But hopefully this was a good video, guys. I know this was a good one right here. I know y'all been waiting on that. Many of y'all need to hear that. The world need to hear that. You know what I'm saying? And things like this um, and, and whatever. But um, peace and love.